guys, Peter Cole here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are finally doing the what's in the bag for 2021. As you all know, I have made the switch from TaylorMade to Shrixon. Uh, if you've been following along in the last couple months or so, you've seen some of the testing that I've done with the ball, the wedges. I didn't do any testing with the irons. I did do some testing with the driver and the three wood but I didn't do any testing with the iron simply because I had originally planned on switching to a blade iron and then decided last minute to switch to a cavity back. So I felt as though if I was playing with blades before, I really didn't need to do too much testing with the iron. I felt like it's a forged iron. It's not gonna be too much difference in feel. I switched shafts a little bit, but I had done some testing with the shaft that I had switched to in a different club, like the way the shaft felt. So I didn't feel like I needed that much testing with the irons. It's just gonna be more of practicing to get used to the distance change that I'm gonna have. But other than that, I really didn't feel like I needed that much testing. So the irons are about the only thing I didn't test. However, I have played a couple rounds with them now and let me tell you, great choice. It was a fantastic choice to switch from a blade to a cavity back. Not that I'm not good enough to hit a blade. I'm just, I don't feel as though I'm consistent enough to play a blade if I'm gonna compete at a higher level. So that's why I made the switch. I want a little bit more consistency with my ball striking. Get a little bit of extra yardage. I don't hit the ball as far as some of the guys in my age group um, or on the same you know, professional level as me. So I felt like if I can get a little bit of extra distance and add in some a little bit of accuracy, a little bit more consistency, that might just make a whole big change to my golf game. I also changed putters temporarily. I'm still doing some testing. So far, I really like it, but I haven't decided if it's staying in the bag or not. Y'all have seen my Spider FCG. Y'all know that I really like it. I did do one test round with this putter, and I like the way it felt, which is why I went with this putter over a different one that I was looking at. I just had this one built to my specs because the one that I tested was just kind of like a standard 35 inch, you know, standard loft and lie. So I didn't putt as well with it, but I liked the way it felt. And I felt like if I can get it to the right specs, it might be different. And so far, I really like it. I'm putting well with it. Just haven't quite decided if I want to stick with it or not. With that being said, let's dive in. What's in the bag 2021? So we're going to start from the bottom and go up. We're going to start with the putter. As of right now, I am gaming the Huntington Beach Soft 4. I really like this putter. I, I feel a lot more comfortable with the blade, which is kind of why I like the Spider FCG because it's built like a, it says that it feels like a blade, but forgives like a mallet. And that's, that's the truth behind that. It feels like a blade putter and it feels and it had the forgiveness of a traditional mallet putter. So that's, I think that's why I putted so well with it. So I'm sacrificing a little bit of the forgiveness by going back to an actual blade, but I have the correct specs to it. It's 33 and a half inches. It is a degree flat, and then it's two degrees de-lofted. It is one degree aloft, one degree flat, and 33 and a half inches long. I went with my standard ping blackout grip like I said, big Tiger fan. I've always used this grip because I was a Tiger fan. And I guess I got so comfortable with it that when I went to try a different grip, I just couldn't get comfortable with it. I kept going back to this grip. So every putter I get gets the ping blackout grip. So that is the putter that is temporarily in the bag. But again, I might go back to my Spider FCG. Don't know yet. I'm going to try and game this one. So I'm playing all tricks on Cleveland. But we'll see. As for the wedges, you already kind of know what I'm playing. Y'all saw me do the unboxing video. Y'all saw me test them out. So if you've been following along this whole time, then you already know that I'm playing the Cleveland RTX Zip Core in a 54 and a 60. I went with the mid bounce. So far, I really, really like these wedges. I'm sure I've said that a thousand times in some of my other videos. The spin I'm getting with these is just ridiculous. It's almost too much spin, but I like it. Um, it makes me work a little harder now because now I have to learn how to control my spin. I've never had to control my spin in the past because I never could spin the ball like that. So I went with this wedge and all of a sudden I switched balls, I switched wedges, and now all of a sudden I'm spinning the ball like 
the guys on TV, and now I got to learn how to control it. So that's going to be fun to learn how to control my spin this upcoming tournament season. We'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of time working on that here in the next couple months before my first tournament. I went with the, I, cho I changed grips. I had the grip, uh, the Golf Pride Tour Velvet cord. I switched to a standard Golf Pride Tour Velvet, no cord. Reason for that being the cord grip, I love the way it feels. It's super comfortable. It is a little bit rough on the hands if you play it over time, but it tears through the gloves like nobody's business. And unfortunately, I don't get gloves for free anymore like I used to, so I have to pay for gloves. Now, granted, I get a really good discount on them. However, I'm still paying for it. So to save my gloves and also to just kind of switch up the field just a tad, like I said, I'm just trying everything I can to have a good year this year. So this is one of the things that I felt like I was a good change for me was the grip. It is a softer grip, so it's comfortable still. Uh, I still a standard size grip, so it's not like I'm playing a bigger grip or a smaller grip. I mean, it's maybe slightly smaller, but I don't feel a huge difference in the size of the grip. And I've still got my Dynamic Gold S400 shaft in my lob wedge and the Dynamic Gold X100 in the sand wedge. So that's it for the wedges. The irons I have decided to play this year are the Strixon ZX7 forged cavity back and a three iron through pitching wedge. I was previously playing a four through pitching wedge and I carried a two iron in the bag. I have dropped the two iron this year, but three through pitching wedge, I'm going back to my old ways, ditching the two iron. These irons are phenomenal. The feel, the distance, the spin, again with the spin. I think Shrixon Cleveland might be onto something with that. These clubs are fantastic and they look amazing. Just check this wedge out. Or I'm sorry, iron, not wedge. I did hit it yesterday, so ignore the dirt and the grooves. So it's still got a very thin top line similar to my similar to my blade irons. And it's still got some blade characteristics to it. So that's why I really like these irons. But they are so much more forgiving than my blades. My old boss, Mark, told me that one day I would realize that it's not about playing a blade. Some of the best guys on tour are not playing a blade. It's all about the consistency and the forgiveness. And, man, I thought he was crazy. I thought, I was like, you know, I've tried cavity backs before. I keep going back to a blade. And, Mark, if you're watching this, once again, you were right. I switched to a cavity back. So, anyway... I was when I made that decision I actually was thinking about what he had told me because he had played on professional tours before and he played at a very high level at one point and he told me this you know like I said he told me that I was going to switch to a cavity back it's it's not about being able to play a blade I mean the best guys on tour they can all play a blade it's just they need the extra forgiveness you know consistency is is a big thing like I said for me it's all about the consistency that's why I switched to these if I can get a little bit more consistency this year I think that'll be a huge improvement on my scores and tournament play. The consistency was always a big issue for me. So, Strixon ZX7 irons. Like I said, I have hit them. I haven't done any videos yet. I wanted to wait till I got everything in before I started recording with these clubs. I'm still missing the five wood. That's besides the point. I'm getting there. These irons are phenomenal. Can't wait to hit them on, on video for you. Speaking of the three wood, kind of gave it away. But that's besides the point. I went with the Strixon ZX Fairway, excuse me, Strixon ZX Fairway Woods in a three plus and a five wood. I went and got this in a hazardous smoke 6.5, so it's extra stiff. Hazardous smoke. It was the same shaft that was in my two iron previously. Only my two iron was a 6.0, which is a regular stiff shaft. This is an extra stiff shaft. I got this in 60 grams. The, the shafts in the woods are most likely going to change. I have the Fujikira Ventus Black that I'll most likely throw in the driver 3 wood and 5 wood. So, not totally sure. I hit this really good even with this hazardous shaft in it. But again, most likely we'll switch to the Venice shaft. I really like the Venice shaft, but we'll see. I love this fairy wood. It is probably the hottest fairy wood that I have hit so far. 
in my career, and I've played some really good fairway woods. So, again, the five wood will be the ZX fairway wood, just like this one. It'll look exactly the same. It'll just say number five on it, and it will be, I believe it's 18 degrees. It might be 19. I don't remember for sure off the top of my head. But five wood is going in the bag as well. Just not here yet. Last I heard, I think they're back ordered until March. The order is already in, but they're just waiting for some parts to come in. So, and last but not least, as for the clubs that are in the bag, y'all already know if you've been following along, you already know which driver I was switching to, the Strixon ZX7. And I just realized that I'm using my front camera, so all these are probably going to be kind of upside down for you. Sorry, I didn't even think about that, but Strixon ZX7, nine and a half degrees. Um, I have it set to the standard loft for right now. Again, I did a lot of testing with it. So I did testing with the, uh, the Riptide shaft and I went with the hazardous smoke shaft. So it's a little bit different, not a whole lot different, but it is, it is a little different. This shaft's a little bit kind of stiffer in a way. So I feel like I'm struggling to swing this one as much, but again, most likely going to be switching shafts anyway to the Ventus. So I'm not that worried about it right now. It's still winter time. I'm still getting used to the clubs. I got Sid on it again, of course. I have a head cover that just kind of sort of matches the bag. I will probably put the Strix on head cover back on it though, just so I can support the brand. The Strix on rep that I've been working with, he has been amazing. He's helped me out a lot, given me some really good advice on like what to get. Help me out with golf balls, of course, and and of course the clubs. You know, he gave me some really good advice when it came to the iron decision. So I talked to my coach, talked to the rep. I asked them both. They're both my golf coach. You know, he's known me for 20 years now, and the Strixon rep. He was a good fitter. I think still is a good fitter, probably. <laughs> and he's seen my swing enough times that I felt comfortable asking him. You know, should I should I stick with the blade or, or should I go to the cavity back? And they both essentially said the same thing to me. You know, it, it's never going to go, you can never go wrong with getting more consistency and forgiveness. So ultimately, I made the decision to go to the cavity back. So thank you, Gerald. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mark. Because again, Mark was one of the people that I was thinking about when I made this uh, the club decision with the irons. So now let's dive into... The golf bag what's inside the golf bag we're going to start from up top alignment sticks obviously i use these a lot when i'm practicing and they just kind of stay in the bag i did go and get a new uh, cover for the alignment sticks to match the bag which by the way this bag is this bag is good looking it's the 2019 master staff bag i could have gotten the brand new staff bag for 2021 however i wasn't a huge fan of how it looked nothing against Silas. It kind of reminded me of a Titleist golf bag, and I've never been a huge fan of the Titleist staff bags, although I do like their 2021 staff bag, but that's besides the point. And to me, I've always liked flashy. Yeah, I've always liked something bright. So that's why I've always liked the TaylorMade bags, because TaylorMade always comes out with a really cool-looking staff bag. And not that Strixon doesn't have good-looking staff bags, because clearly they do, but this particular one I could have gotten last year's or I could have gotten this year's. And I was thinking about getting the 2021, and then when I finally got to see what it looked like, and I was like, man, don't know how I feel about it. So I just basically went on to Facebook Marketplace, and I found this one. And let me tell you, <laughs> this was such a smart decision for me because I love this bag. Right here on the side of the bag, well, it's right here. I got my towel. I got two towels, actually. So I got this one that I picked up from the rep. Again, thank you, Gerald. You've helped me out a lot. This is just one that they picked up. Uh, I guess it was some kind of event that they had. It has all four brands on it. It has the Cleveland, Strixon, Zexio, and A6, which is all four brands that they are under, that they represent. So I'm only playing Strixon Cleveland. I don't have anything to do with Zexio or A6, but still kind of cool to have this towel. So thanks, Gerald, for that. And, of course, I had to get an umbrella to match the bag. Well, not really match the bag, but to go with everything else. I have had – let me let me grab it for you right quick. I have had this Nike Sasquatch square-shaped umbrella, 
ever since the Sumo Square Drivers came out. And I wanted a tailor-made umbrella for so long, and I could just, I, I never just pulled the trigger. It was one of those things that, like, even though I was able to get a discount on it, I was like, man, it's really not worth it. It's just an umbrella. My Nike umbrella works just fine. Well, after the last big rainstorm that we had, and I got stuck on the golf course, I realized that I had a couple holes in my umbrella. So I figured when I switched all my stuff over that I would as well switch my umbrella. So that's what I did. Sad to let that Nike one go. Staying in my office, though. It's like a, it's like a piece of history there so long ago. But anyway, I went with the Shrixon umbrella. It's red, white, and black, which is awesome because I'm a Georgia Bulldogs fan, so I like the color scheme that Shrixon's got going on. But So that just stays right on the side of this bag right here. There's a little clip right there. Kind of slides right into it. There is a cover for it. Um, it's in storage because I just moved this weekend, so I need to get that out of storage and throw it back on here because I don't want my Shrixon umbrella to meet the same fate. My Nike umbrella mat. As I mentioned, I do carry two towels. I have a green master's towel, which is very, very torn up. Um, I can't even tell you how long I've had this master's towel, but it matches the bag. That's really the only reason it's on the bag. So it's kind of nice. I could just wipe it off real quick. I use this big towel for kind of like laying my clubs down when it's wet outside or if it rained the day before and there's still a little bit of moisture in the ground or if I play early in the morning when I go to lay my clubs down. I'll use that towel. And then also I have my brush. Um, this just cleans out the grooves, although it didn't look like it with my three iron. Three iron just came in on Thursday. Today is Saturday. So yesterday was my first time hitting it. So I really just took like two or three swings with it and then came back inside. It was kind of chilly yesterday as well. So again, I got the brush. It has the wire brush side and the softer brush side. And I always, always use the soft brush side. I don't think it would be too dangerous to use the wire brush, but I don't know. And I want to keep the clubs looking good. So I always just use the soft brush side. It does have a groove sharpener on the end of it. However, I don't know exactly how legal or illegal it is. So I don't use it. If I need to clean out my grooves, I either just scrub the crap out of it or I take a T and I just scrape, scrape the grooves. I, I don't know if it's legal or not, so if anyone knows if a groove sharpener is illegal, let me know so I know for sure not to use it. But I haven't used it yet, but it is on there. So if it's legal, hey, I might use it. If it's not legal, not going to use it. So if anyone knows if that's legal or not, just let me know, please, because I have no idea. Turn the bag around. I got this pocket right here. I actually got a couple pockets. I got this little small pocket right here, which currently nothing is in. I have the bigger ball pocket. So like if I was walking in a tournament, this is probably where my golf balls would go. If I had a caddy carrying this bag for me, because I'm definitely not carrying this bag by myself. I also got my swing weight in it. I do got a couple golf balls in here. These are just ones that were kind of used. They hit the cart path once or twice and they're kind of just in there they're kind of like practice balls now but if i were to go play in a tournament i would swap those out and put some fresh golf balls in there because don't want to play in a tournament with some scuffed up golf balls then i also have this pocket right here which as of right now i just have tees in i have a little bit of back pain medicine um, i've been dealing with some sore back since my senior year of high school when i had a pinched nerve so every now and then especially in the winter time um, I keep some low dose aspirin in there for my back. It's basically just off brand Bayer. I'm actually going to switch the pocket that that's in. And I also have some rain gloves in here. And that's it for that pocket. So this bag is built a little differently than my last bag. So I'm not going to unzip it, but in this side pocket right here, I do have my rain pants. And then on this side pocket right here, I have my rain jacket. I am in the process of switching apparel brands as well. So I currently have my Nike rain gear in there. That may or may not change. I'll keep you all updated on that as well. We'll find out for sure soon. But as of right now, I'm wearing Nike, so that's what's in there. But I don't have a staff deal with Nike anymore, unfortunately. So I'm working on 
just trying to find something else, someone else that wants to help me out and um, give me either a really good discount on clothes or or give me free clothes like Nike used to do. Again, I'm not asking for handouts, but any, every little bit helps when you're a professional golfer on mini tours, not on the PGA Tour. Get, it gets expensive, so. On to the other pockets. So one big thing that I've noticed with this bag compared to my TaylorMade bag is I had three pockets, technically, with my TaylorMade bag. I had a pocket up here, I had this pocket right here, and then I had the name panel pocket. I don't have that third pocket anymore which is not a big deal. So I just have to move some stuff around and some of these two pockets that I use on a regular basis when this bag is on a cart. Obviously I got the name facing out. So these back pockets are kind of pointless when it's on the cart. So a lot of this stuff is just kind of crammed in here for now. I got my glove, which is the Strixon Tour Glove. I have, have my range finder. Let's see what else I got in here. Let me move this off to the side. Got some tees. So basically what goes in here are the tees that I'm going to use for that particular round. Um, I'll throw a couple in there in case a couple breaks so I could just reach in there. As I mentioned in my Q&A video, one of my superstitions is that I always have four tees in my pocket. Generally, I carry two long tees and then two short tee, like par three tees. Uh, when I'm out of my par three tees, I will just carry four of the regular long tees. This year, I switched to an all black tee. It's the three and a quarter length tees. And I really like these because it doesn't leave a white scuff mark on the bottom of my driver or three wood when I use it. So again, I got a discount, but I still paid for them. I want to keep them looking nice. So black tees it is. As for the irons, I do use the little short par three tees. Irons are generally a little bit easier to clean off than the woods are anyway. I also keep my Nike divot tool. Always fix your divots, guys. And of course, my number one dad ball marker. And then also, which not right this second, but I usually put fresh sleeve of golf balls in this pocket. I usually keep about three or four in this front pocket. These are my game day golf balls, so to say. These are the ones that I'm gonna start my round with. Again, not currently. These are from yesterday and the day before and the day before, but haven't played in any tournaments. So once I play in a tournament, I will put some fresh golf balls in these pockets, obviously a little bit more frequently, but through the winter time, not a lot of tournament play. So I just kind of use the golf balls until I feel like they're either too dirty, too scuffed up, or just I lose them. <laughs> so for right now, I got three dirty-ish golf balls in there. As for the golf ball, I am playing the Shrixon Z-Star XV. Again, if you've been following along, you probably already knew that. If you're new to the channel, hi, thanks for joining. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. Again, Strixon Z Star XV. During the summertime, I'll play the white ball. During the wintertime, I'll play the yellow ball. Makes it a little bit easier to see on the dormant green fairways here in lovely North Carolina. And the wintertime, where like hardly anyone overseeds. So, on to the last pocket. All right. I keep the tool for my driver. So, inside this front pocket, I have a little small pocket. I have some gum. The reason I keep gum in here is because I do use chewing tobacco and I'm trying to quit. So try to chew gum during a round of golf instead of putting tobacco in. It's not really working out that well right now. So if you're rooting for me, I'm sorry. If you don't care, neither do I. Just kidding. Um, I am really trying to quit. It's a gross habit. So it's one of those things. I got a daughter now, so I got to think about her in the future. So I am trying to quit, but not having success right now. Another thing I keep in this front little pocket is my greens book. It has my yardages, which are, a couple of them are guesstimated. A couple of them are the ones that I've seen so far and kind of basing them off of my previous yardages. Once I actually get to an indoor simulator or something like that, where I have good conditions and accurate numbers, I'm gonna go in through and hit everything and get some accurate yardages so I know for sure. So when summertime rolls around and I'm playing in mini tour events, these numbers right here will be spot on. 
As for the book, during a tournament, I will put the course that I'm playing's book in there. This is just a greens book for Larkin, so I don't use it all the time. Back to the superstition thing, it stays in my back right pocket. It's a comfort thing. It's in there. I know it's in there, and I don't use it all the time. However, occasionally, even here at Larkin, I will pull it out if I'm struggling to read a green. And it has kind of like the layout of the hole, which is nice. And then it also has the greens, which is the big thing here. So it's nice to have if I need it. I don't use it all the time because it's my home course. I know where everything's at. I know where to miss it. Doesn't mean I miss it there all the time, but I know where to miss it when I'm hitting the ball good. And then I got <laughs> some more golf balls. Uh, the, so the other sleeve was in here. I lost one yesterday. Oh, well. Um, keep three sleeves I don't always keep this in the bag all right the downside to using my phone to record is occasionally I get random phone calls and then occasionally my wife calls so that would be the interruption that we had anyway I don't always keep a dozen golf balls in my golf bag when I'm playing in tournaments, I will usually carry about six to eight golf balls in the bag. So about two sleeves plus an extra two that I'll usually use for like putting to warm up. I usually won't use those extra two, but I'll keep two fresh sleeves in the bag. Again, when I'm playing and we're walking, one goes in that one sleeve goes in that pocket. The other sleeve goes in this pocket. Other than that, that's basically it for the what's in the bag. That is my what's in the bag, very similar to last year's what's in the bag, but this is generally what you would see inside the bag of most golf professionals. Again, I didn't pull them out, but I do got my rain gear on both side pockets. So I got rain gear, I got an umbrella, I got my glove, I got my rain gloves, I got golf balls, tees, divot tool, ball marker. Uh, what else do I got in here? Swing weight clubs obviously so that's it thanks for watching uh if you are new to the channel thanks again hit that like button hit that subscribe button and if you've already subscribed to the channel thank you i appreciate you and we'll be back very soon hopefully it warms up enough for me to get out there and you can see me hit the new sticks and hopefully shrixon sends me my five wood soon anyway thanks for watching guys We'll be back very soon.